Do you think the Affordable Care Act should be repealed? No. Should illegal immigrants have a pathway to citizenship? Yes. Is Common Core good or bad for Colorado students? Yes. Do you believe in placing restrictions for gun buyers? Yes. Do you believe in the death penalty? No. Do you believe Colorado should have a personhood amendment? No. Would you like to see more regulations on fracking in Colorado? We have to find the right balance, uh, so yes. All right, there you go. Welcome to Gimme Five. Mo Udall, of course, incumbent senator from the state of Colorado. And uh, he was, you know, you see this little Q&A, one word, yes, no, whatever, uh, with the reporter. And uh, things were going along swimmingly. Now, my, my purpose in bringing this to you is to show you that the media is not reporting on this. They're not reporting on this. They're not reporting on a big, huge blunder that Wendy Davis made, which we'll get to in a second, because they protect their Democratic candidates. They must protect them. Of course, well, let, let's get to it, and then we'll discuss the double standard. Uh, but here's more from this reporter and uh, Mo Udall. These are the tough questions now. What is your favorite place in Colorado for a weekend getaway? Uh, Crested Butte. <laughs> No hesitation there. Uh, name three of the most influential books in your life and the last song you listened to. Oh, wow. Uh, I know, that's, that's, the, tough, the, that's, that's the toughest. The, the, so um, the uh, three most influential books in my life, Profiles in Courage, um, the, uh, let me think, maybe we can, we can play this over, right? Let me, let me retape this. We could play this over, which he meant do this over, when we retape this? Uh, I don't think so. Otherwise, we, we wouldn't be seeing this and hearing him say, um, we'll play this over when we retape this. There was no retape. What, are you kidding me? Because you can't think of a, of a couple of books? We're going to stop the tape? Uh, Kate, little Katie Couric didn't stop the tape with uh, Sarah Palin, did she? George Bush has been asked, you know, made fun of many times. He, his tape was never stopped, was it? And I'm frankly surprised they didn't. Good, good for this Channel 7 in Colorado there that didn't uh, stop the tape and do it over at the behest of Mo Udall because it was making him look bad. You've got to be kidding me. Now, I don't know if they were taping this or it was live, to be honest with you, but he thought it was being taped. And to say, we'll fix this when we tape it over. <laughs> Let me go find the books. Let me write down some books on my hand, and then you ask me again. I mean, come on. All right, but he did come up with the names of some books, and I assume it was live. Here we go. Uh, well, let, well, let's go back to yeah. the, that. What about, what about, what about music? What, what's yeah. the last song you listened to? Um, I'm brain dead today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, so, so, yeah. so back to the books, uh, yeah. Profiles and Courage. Yeah, let me, let me just let me catch my thought here. So um, the... Uh, in the Kingdom of Ice, Profiles uh, in Courage, and a Centennial, Michener's great book about Colorado. Yeah. Uh, the, I love Sean Colvin's uh, song uh, about avalanches because it's appropriate to Colorado. Okay, good enough. Uh, good. Yay, he loves everything Colorado. Isn't that great? Let me catch my thoughts. Let me get my brain dead. Brain dead? He said brain dead? Wow. If a Republican said that, they'd be out. Now, watch this from Chuck Todd. And one of the most startling facts I've heard this entire midterm cycle, midterm cycle is from Steve Israel, who came in to see us the other day, and he said, what's not working against Michael Grimm, the Republican congressman from Staten Island who's been indicted mm -hmm. on a long right. list of charges, is people just don't, they shrug when they hear it. Like, it, it's so is common Michael, in New York politics. Is Michael Grimm going to win? Because politicians is are Michael Grimm going to win? Yes. Most are you likely, kidding me? They think could, he's going to yeah. win. <laughs> it's oh that, that's, a, that's a fight between <laughs> mob families. <laughs> <laughs> I disassociate no, no, no. Two Italian candidates. He calls a fight between two mob families. Wow. Now, Wendy Davis, let's put this up. 25. Greg Abbott won't say whether he'd defend an interracial marriage ban. Troubling, but not surprising from someone who defends a poll tax. Hey, brain surgeon Wendy Davis, Greg Abbott is married to a Mexican woman, a Hispanic woman. He is an interracial marriage. Where's the media exposing this dingbat on The Steve Malzberg Show?